Hello everyone, you're watching Over Under and this is Spider-Man Week. Last episode we spoke about the Spider-Man franchise with Tobey Maguire. Yes. Today we're going to discuss the Spider-Man franchise, the amazing Spider-Man. The amazing Spider-Man Spider franchise. franchise. With Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. But what is your name, my friend? My name is Hassan Jawahri. <laughs> I'm so excited that I forgot my name. My name is Hassan Jawahri, joined by AJ here. And we are doing these uh, Spider Man franchises over yes, the week. Yes, over the week on KTV Because they are worth talking about. Worth talking about. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, what we do right now is get straight to it. And I'm going to ask you this question. Yes. For those who haven't seen uh, The Amazing Spider Man, do you think what happened to you, Peter, was an accident? Do you have any idea what you really are? Amazing Spider-Man one and two. One and two. Would you recommend them to watch it in three, two, one? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because here it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. I know all guys are not ready for this. They're not. Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man out there. <laughs> well, Tom Holland is the best <laughs> Spider-Man out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you how much I love. I love Andrew Garfield. Oh you can't man. believe how much I love G Andrew. Gar All three: yes. Toby, Holland, Andrew. Yes. I love them yes. so so much. Yes. But give me a teenager to play a teenager role. He was not a adult. No, he was a teenager. Andrew Garfield's age. He was a teen. No, I mean, age, but he, real life age. But he looked so young, and he looked such Toby a. Toby like looked a, like an adult. Yeah, and and Andrew looked like a high schooler, and Holland looked like an elementary school. Yeah, kid. I mean, he looked younger, but Andrew didn't Holland look old. Holland is the best casting choice in terms of depicting leave that, the leave age that and for all the, that. For the next episode with Holland, let's stick on. Let's stick to Andrew right, right now. Right, oh right. wow, started out all like right, really strong. All right, we're gonna battle. I, I love Andrew. He when he was casted as a Spider Man, and I was like, yes, he's perfect for the role. He is still perfect for the role. Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man, got released, and I was like, okay, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Like I liked it, but I was like. Come on, give me. I love, you know, he, him as Spider-Man. He was amazing. Truly. Remind sick. me about the first one. Let's go. The first one is, of course, when, like, again, they started with the origin story yes. of him becoming Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. They showcased more, like, of a, he wasn't, he was geeky, yeah. but in a cool way. Like yeah, he's different than Toby. Yes, Toby you know? was... There the, the are different characteristics. Yes. Toby was nerdy to the point, like, no, I don't want to be cooler. But he that was actually Peter Parker. That's right. how you would actually see Peter Parker. Yes. And and with with Andrew, you uh -huh. see him as Peter Parker. But I was like, that's a really cool Peter Parker. That's not actually how Peter Parker should be. But he's too cool. He's too cool to be Peter too Parker. Cool. But he and was too good looking. But he was <laughs> amazing as Spider Man. This is yes. if I like since we talked about Toby, mm -hmm. Toby was amazing as Peter Parker. Toby's and the only American actor to <laughs> and, and play Spider Man. Yeah, and Andrew was amazing as the amazing yes. Spider Man. And the first one lacked in terms of. I mean, I love the story between him and and Gwen. They yes. put they put. I think bec the reason why I didn't, I liked it. I didn't say I'm not, I didn't like it, but it wasn't wow to me because they put more focus on that storyline rather They're, than the yeah. villain and the you know the lizard. I mean, they did put the spotlight, but it was like it wasn't captivating. Villains of the first one, the lizard. Just the lizard? Just the lizard and, and you know, it's just... Oh, I thought I memorized all these movies. Now I'm thinking back. Right. Amazing Spider-Man, the first one, not as well no. memorable. No, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Andrew memorable. is memorable. The yes. movie's not. The movie's yes, not. Yes, exactly. Gwen is definitely the memorable. The sequel, I think, is better, but we'll get to that. Yes. So so with, when that happened, but again, story-wise, when, mm. you, when you look at, at Peter, Gwen, her dad, yes. that was really great. But again, the Spider-Man aspect of him trying to save the day against mm -hmm. that villain mm -hmm. fell a little bit short to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again. The like, the villain might have just been... A bit weak. Yes. Not sure if it's uh, the CGI, the casting, 
the scripts written for that character or the there were there there's a writing term for it I forgot but I'm sorry there there mm. hit it one second get it I'm gonna get it Just get <laughs> <laughs> their motivation yeah yeah I mean I understood the wow yeah. that took a too long <laughs> to say motivation. <laughs> I mean, it was there. I understood it. But again, fighting-wise, I mean, the high school scene was nice when he was fighting with the lizard inside the high school. Some really cool scenes, fun. You get to see Stan mm-hmm. Lee inside the library. That was yes, a really yes, cool yes, scene. Yes, yes. Stan Lee is always the highlight of every Marvel yeah, movie. It was, it was definitely great. Then they go ahead and they announce. And it, it got, I think, a really good review, the first one. Yes. They announce the second one. Second and one. And they say, Jamie Foxx is Jamie Foxx is, Fox Fox is and Electro. Say, and you say, Jamie Foxx, you'd be like, I'm in. Man. I'm in. I am In addition in. to? In addition uh, to uh, uh, the Green Goblin. Uh, we had the Green Goblin? Yes. One? Yeah. Who His played the Green Goblin? Uh, I don't know the name of the actor. Did I watch this movie? But again, <laughs> he wasn't He wasn't a memorable... Uh, there was another Green Goblin? Yes. I, yes. That's that's how unmemorable that character is. <laughs> yes, but how... Was ever. there a third villain? Uh, no, I think it was just Electro and the, and the Green Goblin, yeah. Remember, because uh, he yeah. is the one who actually killed Gwen. Ah, uh, don't remind me. movie this is probably the least favorite one in like all of the spider-man movies to a lot mm. of people mm. this is actually my favorite Fra- like of what everything wait, wait, wait. everything <laughs> wait, wait, everything wait. you just said like both movies weren't that <laughs> memorable no 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 i mean i mean no just that what the, the green goblin wasn't memorable the second one i love the amazing spider-man too. i loved i loved the sequel i remember so that but i don't good. remember the green goblin, the green goblin <laughs> like you were you he's like his hair was like on the side and it was like peter's best friend of course as usual as the green goblin but the name oh. of the actor he was the guy in, in valerian if what you is that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy who played that character is just like, oh. like okay. anyways, 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 here, here's why, here's why, why is that movie, your, f- your favorite what, please, Spider-Man movie, out of the s- eight we have, like, I keep joking about firing you <laughs> off this show, <laughs> but like, you keep, you know, Here's getting why. under my skin. Here's why. I'll, 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 I'll explain. Fanboy edition, round two. I'll explain. Mm. Andrew Garfield, of course. Can't of argue course, with that. okay. Can't We're argue with that. Can't just... Jamie Foxx as Electro was... That's one m- movie. ...magnificent. <laughs> I loved that villain, and I loved his powers, mm-hmm. and I loved every fight scene in that movie. It was well written and well choreographed, and just CGI-wise was beautiful. I'm gonna agree with you in a different way, but continue. Right? I mean, I remember that scene in the in the um, uh, the in what's it called? The New York, s- um, what do they call that? The old giant s- s- square. Times Square. Times Square. <laughs> Times Square, my Time friend. Times Square, right? Have they you been to New York? No, never. Uh, yeah, that's why. So <laughs> they did that scene, and that was an amazing scene. I loved loved that scene, and I loved how um, uh, Spider Man was interacting with Electro, and he was, you know. I just, just the script, everything, like the chemistry between them was really great. That fight scene at the end is just, again, beyond incredible. I loved it. I love the, the character of Electro is something that I really enjoy. The whole electricity and how he's like goes in and out uh, was really fun. Uh, and then on top of everything is Gwen's death, which was just... That's, was it, am I remembering correctly? There's a swi- spider web that goes yes. and it turns into a hand? Yes. <sighs> And she just, he does catch her, but it just hits her head. Bam! But they redeem it in no way home. Oh, yes. In a way. Yes. We'll get to that we'll on Friday. To that. Tomorrow, but yes. don't miss the show. I think I've seen that movie more than seven times of th- how much I really um, love that movie. 
The Amazing Spider-Man is the best Spider-Man that had the best music. I think. <laughs> I swear to God, the soundtrack to yes, The Amazing yes. Spider-Man. That's actually really good. What a banger. Yes. Especially the electro vibes yeah. into the Spider-Man theme they created for The Amazing Spider-Man. Yes. Loved, loved, loved the music. Mm. I'm not sure who did the soundtrack. Was it? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not One sure. One second, because if it's Hans Zimmer, he deserves a mention. Great soundtrack. Great, I great double CGI. Check on the sequel, that was the first one. Music composed by... Oh, wow. We got Pharrell Williams, Hans Zimmer. That's why. Oh. That's why I remembered Hans Zimmer. Okay. The second one especially had amazing music. Yeah. Pharrell Williams was there, apparently, but Hans Zimmer was the composer. But it was it was, it was was incredible. I, I love that movie, and I just cannot wait, please. To give us more, Andrew. S- amazing Spider-Man 3. Would you... Uh, they... Well, here's the thing. They didn't do the third one because they felt it wasn't clicking. No, I think at that time... What was it? I think at that time, because uh, they made the deal with Sony to introduce Spider-Man in, in the MCU, right? No. Y- they did. At that time? At that time, no. I Without like, telling the world, uh, like you mean? After, yeah, I mean, I mean, there were talks, right, about like in the with the studio, and they uh-huh. want to include Spider-Man. But their thoughts is like, if we're going to include Spider-Man, we're not going to include Andrew. And there was a petition that came out. Everybody wanted Andrew to play Spider-Man. I was like, no, 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 keep him, keep him, keep him. But... If you if you look at it now, it was the right t- decision because it's the right thing because to if do you because if, if he was introduced yeah. again in Civil War, it's like wow, that's a very old Spider Man, mm-hmm. right? They needed to go this with someone. This was the perfect way. It yes. all goes back to Kevin Feige or whoever really drew this plan from the beginning. Yes, if did they have plans from Iron Man one? Yes, did they have plans from God knows when? You know, yeah. those types of they uh, behind they the scenes plan secrets. Way ahead. That's they why I love it with know. Marvel. So yeah, I yeah. like casting. Keeping Andrew as Spider-Man yeah. would have played very well in the story that they mm-hmm. wanted to write. I mean, imagine doing the father figure thing with Tony and Andrew. Yeah, this wouldn't, no. wouldn't click, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, this yeah. was a great choice. If it was truly why they didn't do the third one, yes. then that was a good excuse, yes. I suppose. And we're back. It's over under your show about movies, TV shows, and video games. This is Spider-Man Week. Yep. And we're doing the amazing Spider-Man today. Tom Holland's um, No Way Home franchise tomorrow. This is what you don't know. Let's learn some facts. Yes. Give me some Andrew facts. When first wearing the Spider-Man costume, Andrew Garfield admitted to shedding tears. Oh, he's truly a fanboy of the character, probably, and he a is. dream come true. Yes, like imagine you're a up and coming actor and you're auditioning for the the, the role of a lifetime, yes. right? And you grew up probably reading up on Spider-Man, so well deserved. Well yes. deserved, my friend. Yes. You did an amazing job. Absolutely. Andrew Garf- Garfield took up yoga and Pilates to help him be more flexible in the role of Spider-Man. And he was. See, actors going, you know, it's above out of and their beyond, way. Yeah, yeah. They're going out of their way to really fit into the character. And then Tom Holland with the jumping stuff that he can do. Yes. He's such a gymnast. They brought the right actor again. Yes. And then this one as well, Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Multi-talented. He was, he was fantastic, man. Emma Stone. Personally wrote Gwen's graduation speech. That's oh, cute. Oh, that's... That's really cute. That's... Wow, that's great. And how great. did we not mention Emma Stone throughout this whole thing? We did, but we, we just said Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy, Come on. because <laughs> Gwen... Put man. some respect on, on that Emma Stone Gwen's name. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the facts. Yes. And However, if they made a third one, what would, have, what would it have been about, would you say? If they do a third one, I mean, we have to go back to the story before he came back in in the third. Well, the th- my thing is, at that time point, without canceling a third one, yeah, what would it have been at that time? That's yeah, my that's what I need. Just, just don't bring him back after what the the events of of No Way Home. No, no, show no, no, us no. exactly like how he dealt with Gwen Stacy. With Gwen Stacy, right. what happened? Who was yeah, the yeah, villain? Yeah, show yeah. us that dark side. Dark side, because this seemed like he like just seeing him in No Way Home. 
he is the saddest Spider-Man out of the three. Yes. Because he's yes. heartbroken. Absolutely. And heartaches and heartbreaks, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. are very, very hard to get over. I know. And uh, this wraps up our episode. Yes. Thank you all for watching. We're still doing Spider-Man Week. Spider-Man Week continues tomorrow night with our last one with um, No Way Home, Trilogy. Homecoming, Far From Home. home. So, so, so a lot of so homes. Lot, lots of homes <laughs> to get to. But we'll see you tomorrow right. with a new episode. AJ here saying. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.